the curse is lifted. Harry is okay. Voldemort is okay. Everyone's okay. I'm okay. You're okay. Just a lot of okayness going on. Even Hagrid's okay. He got hit by a car twice. <laughs> so thank you for coming to the Pot of Puppet Pals presentation. We're going to do a short Q&A. And it's going to be nice. And we're going to turn on the house lights. And we're going to clean up. And <laughs> Avada can hug you. Right? Avada can hug you. selling some merchandise outside. We've got to get it set up. So let's do the Q&A and uh, I'll take your questions or cues as, as they're called. Here we are at YomaCon 2011 in Detroit, Michigan and I have the pleasure of, uh, of uh, speaking with the Mr. Severus Se Severus Snape, Mr. Snape? Professor Severus. Severus Snape. Snape. Yes. I, I, forgive me, Professor. I, um, I, uh, uh, I'm just so overwhelmed by being in your presence. Um, very I, kind, yes. I, I love your movies, and I love watching the interaction that you have with the kids. Now, Mr. Snape, do you, uh, um, can you tell me, are, is your relationship uh, one of an adversarial relationship in real life? It's with more the of a uh, constantly cleaning up messes, constantly dealing with rudeness. Yes, it's it's quite accurate, in fact. Uh huh. So, do you think uh, the way you were portrayed in the movies uh, is accurate? The um, Hollywood films. Correct. Know, yes. Correct. Uh, I would say, uh, aside from the uh, total amount of screen time that I receive, they are fairly accurate. Really? So, um, I mean, when I watch the movies, I see, it seems to me that uh, the, the uh, focus is all on Harry Potter, but I see a guardian angel in the background who is a constant presence. And yes, I mean, that's my personal read on the films, is that although I am not physically present for most of it. It's, it is really my actions which save the entire uh, wizarding world. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. That has always been my, my take on, on the story, which also happens to be what really happened. Absolutely. I, I mean, obviously, you're still actually alive and kicking here, so, so I do know that uh, uh, you're still very much a part of the Potter, uh, Potter's life. How do you... Uh, uh, now that the movies have been out, how do you react to uh, your fame? Oh, I try. I try and avoid it. I don't read the reviews. I don't. I don't log on to the message boards or whatever they are. And I. Uh, I mostly just spend time at home, writing, uh, listening to to records, and and enjoying my money. It's quite. It's quite nice. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you're enjoying your money. Is, uh, is that, that what you said, money? Enjoying your money? Yes. You have scads of it, like uh, uh, pillows and beds made of uh, stuffed with money? Oh yes, of course. I am part of the Screen Actors Guild, and I'm well protected under their guidelines. Excellent, excellent. And so, uh, um, there was an interview that I saw recently with a fellow named Alan Rickman. Are you familiar with the fellow? Um, yes, I believe he was in um, uh, Robin Hood, right? Yes. I think, I, I think I've seen his work, maybe. He actually played you in the uh, uh, Harry Potter movies. I think oh, the other Harry Potter, yeah. Yes, I, I've, I have seen, I've seen a bit of him, his work. He's okay. He's okay, huh? Yes. Uh, did you catch the interview that they uh, that he did, where the, uh, you were actually mentioned? Oh, was I? Yes. Oh, was it favorable? Oh yes, yes. He he thought you were very good. He enjoyed uh, uh, your course. work yes, yes. in the real world as opposed to the Hollywood version. It's very nice not to be overlooked. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Um, Mr. Snape. I have a question that I often ask uh, uh, that is rather weird question. Yes. And it's basically my way of, uh, of uh, opening things up to let you um, say something that uh, 
I wouldn't even know to ask. If there was a question that I could ask that would reach to the heart of you and your experience in the world and the world of Harry Potter, what would that answer be? Not the question that would get that answer, but tell me something basically in interesting about your life in Hogwarts. When I was a boy, I was very sad. I was quite lonely. I did not have much in the way of, of earthly things. And there was a girl named Lily who caught my eye and was friendly despite my appearance. It was then I realized that life was worth living. Um, a light is blinking on the camera. Does that mean we're running out of time? I'll speed it up. She died. I'm very unhappy. <laughs> Oh, is it still recording? Oh, okay. We're, we're, we're doing fine. Um, she had a kid with some other guy. I have to teach the kid now. It's not very fun, but at least I have tenure. Well, thank you very much, Ms. Uh, Professor Snape. Thank you, yes. I have, I have been delighted to have this interview with you. And uh, from Yomacon in Detroit, Michigan, Take care and have a good one. Thank you. What is Yomacon, by the way? It's uh, an anime convention in Detroit, Michigan. Oh. Okay. I was wondering. It's been very dark inside the suitcase. Ah. Uh, is that where they keep you? Unfortunately. Well, thank you very much, Professor Snape. Thank you.